Hey, it's Tom Dalton from the Emmy Award-winning PBS television program, Under the Radar, Michigan. Now, I've eaten at great places around the world, and believe it or not, 11 of my top 10 favorite restaurants are right here in Michigan. <laughs> sure, I can't count, but I know good food. Watch this. Art's Tavern has been an institution in these parts for a lot more years than I've even been on the planet. We've been coming here 20, 22 years, and it's just superb. I've been coming here since I was a little girl with my family. So for the last 32 years, I've been coming for the burgers at Art and love the atmosphere. If you're looking for a great place to eat, drink, and rub elbows with the locals, pull up your sleeves, because I think they're all here. Tell me what you love about Art's Tavern. It's friendly, the food is fantastic, the beer, unbelievable. And it's just a great place. Everyone here is so nice and personable. Tim, the owner, like, he's awesome. Always around, friendly face. I'm happy to say he's a friend of mine, and he's an outstanding business guy. So, there's the truth. It's just the place to be. Summertime, Glen Arbor, can't beat it. Ladies. Tim Barr is the proud proprietor of this Glen Arbor landmark. Okay, first of all, I'm confused about something. The name of the bar is Arts Tavern. And your name is Tim Barr. Now, the, both the last names make sense, Tavern and Barr, mm -hmm. but how come you own this place? It's been art since Prohibition. Yeah. I'm the only the third owner since Prohibition. And what isn't broke, don't fix right, it. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Well, how did you come to own this place? I worked here a long time. Art died in 1970. His wife ran it until 86. And then uh, I took over in 2000. My wife and I. So this place has been here since the 30s? Yep. The third building on the same site. The first one they tore down, the second one burned down, and then they built it out of brick. <laughs> Isn't there and, like a nursery uh, rhyme that goes like that too? This is the place where all the cottage owners, locals, in the old days when the cottages got needed to be warmed up, when they closed them and turned the heat off, they go to their cottage, turn the heat on, and then they come down on Friday night and have a sandwich and beer and, and stuff. And heat themselves. And, yep, and wait for the cottage to warm up and then then they go back. Now the cottages, they call on their cell phone and punch a button and the heat comes on and, and they still come here. <laughs> now who decorated this place? Um, in 86 when we took over, or the night before all the locals had stole all the memorabilia that was on the wall and we had nothing to put up so inexpensive way was just to start with college banners and it kind of took off. Which one did you go to? Uh, <laughs> I'm not up there. <laughs> I forgot that part of life. What keeps you here? The community. Yeah, it's a great community, a lot of great people. There's things to do for everybody. There's kayaking or taking a canoe down the river. There's going over the sand dunes, taking a bottle of wine and watching the sunset going down over Lake Michigan. That's something uh, you and I wouldn't do together, though. No, there's not enough beer here. <laughs> <laughs> well, judging from the pole of lost souls outside, there seems to be enough beer to go around here at Arts. But I guess some people just don't know how to handle a good time. <laughs>